these elephants are being targeted. The breeding females are tracked down, then shot, but not with a bullet, with a vaccine. I think for me the biggest thing is that it's a, a proactive, humane way of controlling elephant populations. JJ Finaltina is part of a team from Humane Society International Africa administering immunocontraception. It's an approach often used by private reserves in this part of South Africa to stop the elephants from breeding. The vaccine causes the immune system to produce antibodies that prevent fertilisation. It's absolutely not what we would use as humans for um, contraception because it's non-hormonal and it's non-steroidal. And so this is the beauty of this methodology. It actually works on the animal's own immunity. The program has been a success with almost 1,400 females treated since it was launched more than two decades ago. When we started, everybody was like, immunocontraception, wow, that's very controversial, you'll never get it to work, to where in 2008 it was included in our national norms and standards. While the number of elephants is plummeting across the continent, populations in southern Africa are expanding. I think the perception is out there is that elephants are endangered and that they, you know, we're going to lose them, they're going to go extinct. It's definitely not the case. Salati Game Reserve General Manager Brian Harverman says all parks are required by law to have an elephant management plan. I think we've had really good conservation practices in South Africa and as a result we've been able to increase their population and uh, we actually don't know where to put our elephants. And it's not just private reserves that have to navigate this problem. Elephants can consume up to 400 kilograms of vegetation in a day. While foraging, they routinely destroy crops and farm infrastructure, threatening the livelihoods of entire communities. We're struggling with elephants time and again. Now we're crying because the elephants are damaging the crops. But you never know in the near future what kind of incident are we going to get. Thompson Engamane grows melons, peanuts and maize in a small village north of Kruger National Park. When the elephants come in here, they damage everything. They eat almost everything, mainly the peanuts. They uproot them and leave them everywhere on the ground. Conservationists say it's important to find sustainable ways to mitigate conflict between wild animals and people. The damage to crops can be substantial because a lot of people living around these protected areas are impoverished and that's their food source. Sure, you got the lemongrass here. One solution, according to Michelle Henley, who's been studying elephants for 25 years, is growing aromatic herbs such as chilli or lemongrass. So if you plant those crops in a broad barrier around your, your palatable crops that you want to use as a food source, that's another way to deter elephants and to get income. Another is installing hives. These giant animals are scared of bees. The hives have the dual benefit of protecting farmers as well as the trees elephants destroy while searching for food. The debate will continue about how best to manage the growing numbers of these beautiful elephants. What isn't in dispute though is protecting these animals and preserving biodiversity in the area. Emily Angwin, Al Jazeera, Kruger National Park, South Africa.